Yo, what's up, crazy? It's me, Crazy Malik, and today we're gonna be talking about how you get Agent Smith and riffs and uh, all the gems and all the above, all right? So they have a May 27th through July uh, rift. Basically, it says beat a boss for the first time during a point. It says you get Agent Smith two weeks early, right? And you're thinking to yourself, okay, so if I go into easy mode, as soon as I beat any of these bosses, it should give me a point, right? Nope! That is not how it works. None of these counts as a boss until you go all the way through and beat this guy, which it says on the mutator, the big boss, which those count as the boss. So that is one point towards that event. Now you can go back and click here and then do experienced and go to the end and beat the boss as well. You can do five points per rift for each difficulty. So you're basically fighting the same boss, but you get a point for each difficulty of that boss, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird because he doesn't even say he's a boss either, it just says leader. But this counts as the boss stripe at the end. Sorry, spoilers, okay? It's already been a day, it's been so long. You guys should be 100% completing all, all these. <laughs> because so, I know a lot of people are confused, including myself, are like, wait, how do you get it? Or do people get it like day one? Can you just grind it? No, you can't even grind it. That's the one thing about this game I don't understand. There's a lot of gatekeeping. Uh, the max you can get right now, I believe, is six. Because the most you can do is easy, experienced, and crushing. We get one, two, three bosses. One, two, three bosses. This one comes out in three days, which then I assume you can get to the third one as well. So there's three, three, and three. So you only get nine, up to nine. Let's say you get four difficulties. That's only four, eight, and 12. If you had all five, you would still need to have four events, assuming that each event, each rift has a boss. The only possible way to get this is wait until July 10th, which is a long time. Seems to me like the levels of the gems are leveling up slow, but if you go into the store and go all the way down, you can go to the rift store. And then actually some people are saying it's pay to win. In a sense, you could say it is pay to win because you're paying to level up your gems so that way you can do the content easier in the rifts. It doesn't get you the Agent Smith any faster because they're gatekeeping you from the event. But I don't know, maybe it will force you, if you do want to get it two weeks early, to actually level up these gems. So that is a concern as well. I really hope that they make it so it's easier just to level them up without doing it. I hope I explained that well. I don't know if I over explained it either. Might I add that uh, when you actually do these events, easy and experience are pretty easy uh, without uh, gems and whatnot. If you don't have like gems and uh, suited for you, it does get challenging. Even at the end here, I am concerned about this as well. It says the ultimate rift challenge complete matches with a limited number of lives per day and your damage and lives carry over from the one match to the next. You can purchase more lives with real currency, I assume. Maybe it's not Gleemium currency, but it seems a little crazy that like you can pay, I'm assuming it's the Gleemium, to buy extra lives. They really emphasize two weeks early for Agent Smith, but it's, you're probably gonna have to spend Gleemium to actually get there. So that's what I'm, that's the vibes I'm getting from this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Paying Gleemium to level up your gems, is that okay? Uh, buying lives, assuming it's Gleemium, is that okay? To being locked by a waiting time instead of me, the player, choosing when to rank up, is that okay? So overview, I do not like that you can pay real money to upgrade your gems. I don't like that you're gonna have to buy lives to ultimately unlock Agent Smith, and I don't like that they're locking these to where the event's gonna take until July 10th, supposedly, to actually unlock uh, Agent Smith two weeks early, like, they made it seem like I could unlock it pretty fast. Crazy, I uh, actually noticed later on recording the previous part that Tony recently tweeted just three hours ago today for the PvE Rifts mode and how that ties into the Agent Smith event. There will be more than five Rifts this season. More details will be coming, so... Jason saying three days away uh, the other one might be another week and then the other one might be a second one I don't know either way it's still gatekeeping and a long time to uh, actually get agent Smith two weeks early it's just unclear on how long that is and when we will get it it's a little bit sooner than July 10th and what we thought hopefully so 
I mean, the season is eight weeks, so it could still be July. It said more than five rifts, so it's hard to say, like, how soon that will be. I thought I'd let you guys know, and uh, I look forward to uh, completing those rifts and getting Agent Smith. Let's go! Again, let me know your thoughts, crazies. But with that, I hope that uh, informs you and lets you guys know. Hope you guys are enjoying Multiverses, and you better not get in the same lobby as me, because you're going to get absolutely destroyed, just like... Jeff here, okay? With that, I love you crazies! I love you crazies, goodbye!